Richard and Ben have spent an uneasy night on the edge of an Indian settlement, expecting a possible attack from an isolated Indian tribe. It's now morning. There's no sign of intrusion, and everyone is safe at the Kampa village. But downriver, Morales was attacked. There was a high bank. This was the first arrow they fired from the bank. It landed behind Chicao. It hit the boat, and you can see the tips broken. I looked up and saw this one coming. I leaned back and it passed in front of me and hit the water. Morales returns to the attack site to have a look around. Morales believes that isolated natives shouldn't be fired at when they attack, and it should be left to them to make contact. They should remain isolated for several reasons. We know from statistics that when you contact tribes like this, two-thirds of the population die after two years. So it's not contact, it's genocide. It's a matter of respect. If these people are there, isolated in the forest, why not respect their right to do this? The isolated Indians are being forced into ever smaller regions. These NASA satellite pictures show how logging is decimating the forest. Peru has zoned over 70% of its Amazonian rainforest for oil and gas exploration. Rainforest harvesting brings more road construction into the forest, which provides easy access for illegal loggers. Morales hopes that by proving the existence of the uncontacted tribes and making the public aware of them, will improve their chances of survival. 